Welcome to our sixth and final part of building a basic penetration testing lab. So at this point in building our virtual lab, we now have our environment, our virtual boxes. We've created three of them. We have our Kali Linux for penetration testing. We have an exploitable version of Windows, which is XP Service Pack 3. And then we have Metasploitable 2, which will be able to exploit a Linux machine. This will give us a nice little environment. But right now, they're currently set to bridge to your network adapter, so they will be able to touch the internet, and we don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to create our own virtual network that these three boxes are on where they cannot get out to the outside world and they can only touch each other. So what we want to do is create our own virtual network that these three machines can connect to. So we're going to go to our preferences which is under virtual box. If you're on Windows it's under the edit menu. Then we're going to click on network and we're going to click on host only network. From here we'll click on the network card and create our own network. In this case it's called VBOX Net Zero. As we edit it, you'll be able to see that the router is going to be 192.168.56.1. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, which gives us 254 usable hosts on this, this uh, DHCP scope. It is going to run its own DHCP server and hand out addresses, starting with 101, going all the way up to 254, which will be fine for us because that means I will just set the machines to DHCP, which they already are. When they boot, they'll get an address. Hit OK. And hit OK. Now we need to go and tell each of these machines to go to that network. So we'll click on network. So I'm on Metasploitable 2. Click on network. And instead of being attached to NAT, what we want to do is do host only adapter VBOX NET 0, which is the one we just created, and hit OK. We'll do the same thing to Windows. We'll click on network. Change that from NAT to host only adapter, and hit OK. And finally, we'll go to Kali click on network and we will do host only adapter VBOX net zero and hit OK. Now what we will do is click on Kali first and start it up by double clicking it or clicking the start menu it will start. While it's booting we'll go ahead and load up Windows XP and then we'll start Metasploitable 2. Now I'm going to minimize the virtual box so I can see my three machines. I'll have Kali over here, Metasploitable down here, and Windows XP over here. Now as we go through hacking lessons, we'll actually teach you how to do reconnaissance on each of these machines from the Kali machine, but for this purpose of this tutorial I just want to show you uh, the IP addresses to show that they're on the same network. So what we'll do is we will log into our Kali box with root and our password, which I use Tor. Here in Windows, we'll just go here to the command prompt and do an IP config, and we can see that it did not pick up an IP address. So we're going to do a release and a renew. And now you'll see that we do have our IP address that we should have, which is that 192.168.56.something. 101, 102, and 103 is what should have been assigned. I'm guessing the Kali is 101 and Metasploitable is 102, but we'll find that out here in a second. We'll log in with msfadmin, and msfadmin is the password. And if we do ifconfig on Linux, we'll see that this one actually booted up first, and it got the address of 101. We go over to our Kali box, open up a terminal. We're going to verify our Kali Linux IP, which is 102. We're going to try pinging the Metasploitable box and make sure we are on the same network, which is 101. And as you can see, it successfully is able to ping it. Now the Windows XP by default is going to block our pings in Service Pack 3 based on the firewall settings. So it will not work if I try, and I'll show you that right here. But there are other ways for us to see it using different tools that we'll use later. One such tool for doing that is something like Nmap. And so if I do Nmap of the IP address that I'm looking for, which in this case is 102, it's going to do the most common ports for that. And it will see if it can touch it using either TCP traffic or ICMP traffic, uh, depending on, on what method we're using. And it will try to touch that IP. So if you notice when I did Nmap, I actually did it of my Kali machine. That's going to show me nothing is open because Kali has all ports closed by default. If instead I do it on the Windows XP machine, we'll see which ports are open. It's going to scan the 1,000 most commonly used ports. 
And you can see in this case that there's a firewall in place because those ports are actually filtered, not closed. And this is the Windows XP machine we're using. We'll use some different techniques to actually fingerprint and enumerate that Windows XP machine. But at this point, we know there is something on that IP. We just don't know what it is. Now, we actually know what it is because we could see it right here that it's our Windows XP machine. But if we were an attacker, we wouldn't have access to that. So that's the basics of our penetration uh, testing lab in this case. Like I said, we have three boxes here. We have our attacking machine, the Kali box. We have our two hosts, which is our Windows machine to be able to test out Microsoft exploits, as well as our Metasploitable machine to test out Linux-based exploits. Both of these are fairly vulnerable, so we'll have a lot of things to work with and play with throughout our videos. Um, and as we go in, we'll go into a further depth later in the advanced penetration testing lab, we'll actually use domain controllers and hop points and jump between workstations. In this case, we're going to do a lot of direct connecting. We're assuming we're on the same network that we're not having to go through any routers or firewalls. So it's going to make our job a lot easier while we're learning our basic skills.